Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, okay, may we ask for a motion first uh, to the to the manifestation of Congressman um, Richard Gomez? I make a motion, um, Mr. Chair. Okay, second by Congressman Edu Rama. Thank you so much. So we'd like to call on Congressman um, Toby Tianco. Um, at Attorney Trinidad, no una pong nagbidding, nagfailure, tama po. Yes, Mr. Chair. Um, isa lang rin po nagbid nun. Yes, Mr. Chair. Is it the same company? Yes, the same consortium, Mr. Chair. Ah, okay. What was the reason for the failure in the first? Uh, they they failed to. I was not there, but uh, according yes, to the right. records, they failed to produce uh, several mandatory um, records, and that they did not comply with some forms, Mr. So, Chair. Ibig sabihin, dun, dun po sa post evaluation na kita na kulang po yung yung mga submissions. Yes, Mr. Chair. Okay. So no really bid si da pawin yung yung single bidder. And ngayon, you're undergoing post-evaluation. Yes, Mr. Chair. Okay, that's all. I just want Thank to... Thank you, Mr. Chair. That. Mr. Chair, <clears throat> Madam Chair, let me pursue my question. Okay, thank you so much, Congressman Tobin. And I'd like to, to, to call on, of course, Congressman Bandit to pursue her, his questions. I'd like to say, na, you know, you have been explaining about the legality of the, of the bidding and the contract, diba? Right? I mean, uh, to you, it's legal. But we, we might not question the legality of it, but we question the propriety of it. Tama ho ba ako, Tony? Of course, Mr. Chair. Yes. Uh, sin sinabi kanina ni uh, Kong Dasa, ba't kinakailangan pa ang TWG? TWG. Palagi na lamang sa lahat ng agency natin, kinakailangan TWG. Tumatagal yung mga bagay na ito. Who are the members of TWG actually? Uh, can I just uh, recall from my... Sino, sino miembro? The query of the Honorable Ab Abante. <laughs> Actually, we really got confused, no? Because the ICT, tapos MMDA, tapos MMDA to the ICT. Parang you're jumping to jumping rope. Okay. Would you like? Would you like to? Congressman Bante, parang would you like to repeat the? Yeah. Uh, what I would like to find out is who are the members of the TW TWG. At kailan ito na-create yung TWG? Madam Chair, for the um, November 21, 2022, Office Order Number 535, the Constitution of MMDA Bids and Awards Committee, the members of the technical working group are the head is Engineer Francisco Pesino, Deputy Head is Engineer Oliver Bantog, and members of the infrastructure are Engineer Carol Dicino, Engineer Limuel Mabutan, Engineer Jose Carpio. For goods and consultancy, Attorney Aya Timetrillo, Architect Mary Grace Gonzalez, Engineer Wayne, Wayne Jasper Ramirez, Ana Lisa De La Cruz. And for foreign funded projects, Attorney Rian Bautista, Jos Army Magat, Engineer Yolanda Fiel, Engineer Andrea Bellarmino, and Engineer Ellison Santos. Madam Chair, Mr. Chair. Ang dami ng member ng TWG. Kaya pala pa na delay ang project ninyo. Di ba? I mean, there is the Peace and Awards Committee already. What would be the real purpose of a TWG? To find out if there is failure of bidding? They are tasked to do the post-qualification, Mr. Chair. What is that? Post-qualification of the uh, lowest qualified bidder as read, Mr. Chair. Madam Chair. I was born yesterday years. But the thing is, I am quite confused on what he's saying now. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you so much, Congressman Abante. Um, honestly, just go straight to the point. Because I will repeat it again. You group, you group think, you have a lot of TWG people. 
definitely hindi kayo makakakuha ng solution dyan. Pero mo, you're hiring a lot of people and pinasasweldo ng gobyerno, hindi rin makakuha ng magandang sagot ang o katarungan ng ating mamamayan. All right, Congressman Edu Rama, you're now recognized. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, I'm more curious on the logic and the intent of the said project. If I heard it correctly earlier, the primary purpose is to provide free Wi-Fi in the different uh, uh, cities. Am I correct? Here in, in, in Metro Manila. Is that right? Yes, Madam Chair. I, I share the sentiment of uh, Honorable Daza. Why not use existing ISPs? Uh, thank you, Madam Chair, uh, Sir Congressman. Pa, kung maalala nyo po, meron po tayong undertaking na bumilit na makakabili tayo ng napakamurang internet through our own national broadband. That's about 2 terabits per second at, at, at non-commercial rates. Babagsak po yun, uh, bababa po yun sa NCR. Yun po ang sana nating pwedeng i-distribute sa mga government agencies. Ang kailangan lang po natin is a distribution network. Now, Immediately, yeah. tama naman po kayo, uh, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, Madam Chair Kong, na pwede nating mag-subscribe lang mag-subscribe. And that's what we have been doing, sir. But the, the pricing po of subscription is at commercial rates. And honestly, sir, my experience in the past three years, marami po tayong mga providers na hindi po natin nababayaran agad-agad. Now, hindi po ako ang in-charge sa... sa inspection and admin and finance, marami pong ayaw na magbid kasi natatagalan kaming magbayad. So that's why ang mas importante sa atin at nasabi ko po ito sa pang ilang mga tatlong budget hearing, the two sides of the same coin po ang infrastructure and free Wi-Fi. Minarapat ko lang po sa nang idaan sa isang ahensyang sana makatulong sa akin malaganap. Napipressure ako dati, uh, Madam Chair, kung tatawag po lagi sila, Mayor Charles, Mr. Cham. Tawag siya ng tawag, nasa na internet ko. Hindi ko siya masasagot kasi magpapabid pa ako. Magpapabid pa ako para ma-internetan siya. Hindi sa ora-orada, pero kung meron na po network, yeah, uh, I was uh, listening to the discussion earlier. Uh, in this bidding, it involves 52 ac 50 plus access points. Am I correct? At ano po yan, sir? Yung yung kasama yan para lang mapakinabangan agad o na ma on, di ba ramdam ka agad? Kasi kung may internet ka ba sa fiber ring, di naman mararamdaman ng common person, di ba? Pero two terabytes for the whole po, an and an two terabytes po, sir. I sir, ma'am. Madam Chair, ang 2 terabits po, para hati-hatiin po natin yan sa buong Pilipinas, sir. I-divide-divide natin. Yes, because uh, uh, before when I was uh, connected in the LGU, mm -mm. Yes, sir. Uh, Madam Chair. we received a proposal from uh, a company, uh, from an ISP, ISP. Uh, which costs about around 30 million and uh, they would give us access points of about 150, 160 access points. And that's 30 million a year. And that's 100 megabytes this point. So I'm just wondering as to the wisdom of this project. Uh, Some, so, sometimes uh, I believe we don't have to reinvent the wheel. If we have existing infrastructure who can do it well, like low uh, PLDT, Converge, why not use that? existing infrastructure second if we were to bid for uh, infrastructure uh infrastructure maybe we can invest on more access points and uh just a, that's just a suggestion based uh on my experience with the dicp also in cebu yes, when they bid it out uh a similar project like this one we we asked for bandwidth but what we received was uh, uh, before, uh, uh, when this was rolled out, uh, when, uh, when I was asking, even for City Hall, was only 20, uh, 20 megabytes per, per second at that time. You know, that's why I had to shift, and we had to shift, and look for other options, uh, Mr. Chairman. Madam Chair, if I may answer. 
Tama po kayo, no? There are localities where the economies of scale warrant na mag-commercial. Pero if we were to compute the national government agencies in NCR, the number of barangays, I believe that our, if we lay down the distribution network for at least the government instrumentalities, mas makakatipid po tayo. Now, para sa mga malalayo po, ang, ang, ang hangarin po sana natin ng ating digital infrastructure is mapalawak natin sa mga lugar na wala pang kwan. So, ito sir, if, if you may indulge Madam Chair, sir, yung akin lang namang hangarin was pagbaba po, ang, ang hangarin lang po ng DICT sir was pagbaba po kaagad nitong NCR, mararamdaman agad yung pagbaba ng internet. Because, in my opinion, this is a lot of money. And there are a lot of far-flung barangays that need uh, internet access. Uh, rather than spending this in Metro Manila, we could have spent this in uh, our mountain barangays or in other provinces in Mindanao. Madam, Madam Chair, Congressman, meron po tayong kasabay na pinapid din po sa DICT on VSAT IRU. Ano po yon? Ang BSAT IRU, para akong bumibili ng, uh, parang bumibili ang DICT, sir, ng uh, wholesale subscription on the satellite, on the satellite for, from, G, from GEO. Wala pa tayong mga styling, styling doon, sir, no? So, ang maganda doon, sir, pag meron na pong ganong uh, service, ang, ang isang province like yours, bibili lang ng BSAT, itutok mo lang sa langit at meron ka na pong internet at pwede mo na siyang ipa, ipa laganap sa inyong lugar. Yes, but uh, you have to admit, if you have an end-to-end -end fiber connection as okay. compared to uh, VSAT, uh, okay. it's a better. Yes, Do you agree? That's why the national broadband... That, that's, that's, that's just uh, a simplistic way in looking at this uh, yes, sir. Uh, problem. The uh, we're, we're giving uh, free internet yes, po. to... In a, in, a, in a population wherein an internet is readily av uh, available. Mad Madam Chair, Kong Kong, sa Maynila po, marami pa rin pong mga lugar na meron man siyang internet, hindi siya ganun ka, uh, hindi reliable. Minsan meron, minsan. Pasensya na po. I'm sorry, sir. Can I go to an answer? Yes, sure, Thank sure, you, Madam. Sure. Sure. Sir, Um, tama po kayo no, nandito tayo sa mga metropolitan areas Pero marami pa rin po mga lugar na matumal ang, ang mobile signal at ang internet po At marami pa po tayong mga depressed areas na kailangan din natin lagyan ng mga free wifi sir Congregated po, we have 15 million people in Metro Manila 17 cities and 40% of our economy is here So, nung nagkaroon ng pandemic, sir, sabay-sabay sila nag internet Bumabagal po ang, ang, ang internet po. Yeah, I... Uh... Uh, Madam Chair, I agree with Congressman Rama. I'm from Manila, but I agree with Congressman Rama. So, agree with Congressman Rama and Congressman Abante. Kasi dito, we have smart, we have uh, globe, we have TM. We have Converge, you know? So, Dito, hmm. we're promoting them, pero palpak pa din. <laughs> Congressman Rama, I'm just making things slightly kasi ang dami niyong problema. Congressman Rama? Okay. Okay, go. Uh, that would be all for now, uh, Madam Chair. Madam Chair. Okay. Ano po. Hi, Kong. Magandang yeah. magandang yeah. hapon po. Very short lang uh, tungkol sa backbone po, sir. You know, uh, that's why it's called a backbone. Eh. That's why uh, uh, from Aurora, supposedly we'll pass by uh, Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao. So we will have stable internet owned by the government. Not through smart, not through globe, or whatever um, uh, service provider. Yun yung balak eh. Kaya gagawin tayo ng sariling backbone eh. So we will have our own strong, reliable, and whatever technical term. And uh, from what I've heard, you are actually would rather promote 
for government to use other provider rather than our own backbone that we're making? Madam Chair? Madam Chair? Yes. Uh, thank you to my... We're now recognized again. To my kumbabayan, uh, uh, Congressman Imano. Um, sir, hindi po, sir. Baliktad po, sir. Kaya ko nga po sinasabi na ang digital infrastructure plan, two sides to create the broadband, which is the infrastructure of the fiber and whatever. And then free Wi-Fi are the access points, the last mile. Two sides of the same coin. They have to go together. When we create the Wi-Fi sites, we plan out also the laying down of fibers, at least for government instrumentalities. Well, while sometimes there are places wherein the economics allow for subscription slang, but the best talaga is for in the, in the, in the longer run, we really utilize our own bandwidth through our uh, propagated through our own national broadband, Congressman Iman. Yeah, Madam Chair, because I I was listening to the colleagues uh, speaking earlier and asking when internet will be arriving to their respective provinces. Amen and Ludon, si Kong Abante, eh, si Kong Rama sa Visayas. Eh, kailan tayo abot ng Mindanao? Luzon pa problema na. Kong, uh, 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 Madam Chair, paalala ko lang po. Di ba meron, ang, ang una pong network is the spine, the national fiber backbone through the NGCP route. So meron po tayong phase one doon. Parehas dito sa, B, sa MMDA, ang kinapartner ko po doon, si, ang pinartner po ng DICT noon was BCDA. So sila po ang ating katuwang manage ng project para ma-light up ang fiber backbone. Uh, I don't know the update anymore, sir, pero doon po natin idadaloy papuntang Mindanao through the power lines fiber. Ito okay. po yung mga regional rings, ito po yung distribution across provinces. Okay. So, ito po yung network. Yes, Isaac, kaindi, kasi lumalayo tayo sa problema natin, no? Um, yung, I just wanted to quit. Okay, Lakong. All right. Question lang. Uh, when you say manage, ano ang ano ang ano ang ano ang karuktong nito? Ano ang kahulugan nito? Manage the digital infrastructure. Pagdating sa ganyan. Ang idea po, ma'am, is to build and manage the operations of the national broadband po. Pat okay. Patakbo po operational. Okay, so when you when you say operational or papatakbohin o imamanage ng DICT, Paano ang kontrata niyan? Uh, Madam Chair, ako pa ba? Kasi hindi na ako incumbent po. Who's, who's the incumbent? Ay, sila na po. Oh. Well, they can answer also the national. Pasensya na po. If, if Sige, okay lang. Okay. Uh, the question po is on the national uh, broadband project. Um, may no, I... The question is, uh, how could you, um, paano mo makukonekta yung digital infrastructure sa manage na sinasabi ng DICT? How do you do that? And at the same time, Iyan ba ay merong, yung kontrata ba, may kontrata ba yan sa mga bidders niyo o sa mga nanalo? Ano? Uh, Ma'am, okay, okay lang po ang kawagin ko yung aming uh, National Broadband Project para may explain po sa inyo uh, ng mas Sige. maayos. Okay. Um, good afternoon, uh, Madam Chair, uh, Mr. Chair, and to the to your honors. Okay. Uh, sa ano po? Uh, sa managed services. Madam Chair, can you please identify yourself in okay. your position? Um, ako po si Marlon Biagten, uh, OIC Project Manager for the National Broadband. So, okay. Um, sa ano po? Sa managed services po ng ano, nung uh, DICT network, particularly yung sa tinutukoy nating National Broadband. So, uh, ang ano nito, ang strategy of the agencies to uh, procure uh, the... Uh, the, uh, the uh, operations and maintenance of this uh, infrastructure. So, ang tawag dyan ay manage, tama? You manage, right? Yes, yes. Through a contractor or through a DICT? Through a contractor. Pa. Through a contractor. Yes. Okay. So, yun lang. Okay, let me go back sa problema talaga natin. Tatanungin po namin kayo isa-isa, then just raise your hands and you just say yes or no para mas mabilis lang po tayo dahil ang bottom line talaga ay Yung mga termination of convenience, yan ang ating itatakal ngayon. All right. Balikan ko. Yung sa... All right, sige. 
Attorney Victor Pablo Trinidad, kanina sinabi niyo po na isa lang talaga ang bidder, tama? Yes, Madam Chair. So, walang nag-qualify? Wala pong ibang nag-participate, Madam Chair. Oh, walang ibang nag-participate. Okay, correct me for that. I stand corrected for that. Okay. And huwag kang rude, okay? I'm sorry, Madam Chair. Sinasabi ko lang. I'm sorry po. Okay. How was the fiber optic backbone development project, a major project, awarded but went completely under a radar? I don't get the question, Madam Chair. Did not get the question? Oh, sige. Skip natin if you don't get the question. Kaya ayaw ko rin mag-ulit. When search and check online, except for the bidding documents, there was no news about 1.1 billion project. Yes or no? I would have to check the website of our agency, Madam Chair, to verify your question. Okay. Bakit ngayon lang? Wala. Is, is this a joint venture between MMDA, AWIN, and Net Pacific Incorporated qualified and valid? Do you think valid? It would be the decision of the, the examination of the technical working group, Madam. I don't have personal knowledge as to that effect. Okay. Why? I'm not a member of the BAC, Madam, right now. Okay. Who are the members? I already said um, the members. Who is the head of the BAC now? Okay, Yusek Frisco, uh, would you would you mind to answer it? Valid po ba yung lahat? This uh, I know you have a technical working group. Valid po ba yon? Uh, Madam Chair, uh, if I may. Uh, yes, Your Honor, you are I now. I just assumed the office a week ago. Uh, oh, so okay. The, the, this part of the uh, process. Okay. Po ako ang... All right. Thank you so much. Your your I accept your. Your excuse with that. How were the bidders evaluated vis a vis and the criteria? And what was the criteria? Attorney Victor, Pablo Trinidad. I would suppose that would be based on the, uh, the terms of reference compliance and the instructions to bidders, Madam Chair. Who made the terms of reference? I was not part of the. I was just asking who, was it, who made the terms of reference. I will ask you. Uh, MMDA or the ICT? I will ask, Madam Chair. Okay. It was the end user of the MMDA, Madam Chair. The, um, okay. Who is, who is the end user? Uh, MIS po. Um, si Mila Silvestre, yung director po namin. All right. How come uh, the chairman signed the TOR? Did you see it? She did, Madam Chair. Is she authorized? Is he authorized to sign? It was just said, stated, approved the the terms of reference. No, is he authorized to sign? Yes or no? As head of office, I would suppose, Madam Chair. I don't think so because it said the end user. Thank you so much. Were there any other bidders during the pre-bid conference? If so, why were they all disqualified? What was the bid published? Kanina sinabi niyo po sa akin walang naginteres. Tama po ba? There was um. A letter sent by Jorens Builder sometime in October 14 asking clar clarificatory questions. And there was a reply to it. And there was a rejoinder question. And there was another bid bulletin number one in so far as that is concerned, Madam Chair. But that... Okay. Jorens... Can you submit it to us also? Yes, the, Madam Chair. Even the, uh, the, the, I mean, the position of that contractor? Yes, Madam Chair. All right. Did the, MDM, did the MMDA allow enough time or extend the submission period to allow more qualified bids? For that isa lang to, na kayo ba ay nagkaroon na extension? There were compliance with respect to the mandatory number of days, Madam Chair, insofar as Annex C of 9184 IRR is concerned. All right. Mm. Who are the two companies behind the joint venture? AWIN and Net Pacific Incorporated is a AWIN, the same company that caused a major inconvenience along EDSA nung panahon ng April 2021 nung tayo po ay uh, binibira sa EDSA nung panahon na yon. I would suppose yes, Madam Chair. He's still the, he's the contractor. Yes. So you think he's qualified? Madam Chair, that, that point no, I is... Just not... that, is he qualified pag ganyan may problema? Based on 9184, Madam Chair. Okay. 
What is the 1984? Para maintindihan nila. Oh, What is the project? Uh, that's the bid. Uh, Bidding and procurement law, Madam Chair, RA 9284. Yeah, what is, a, what is that? Can you can you state it? With respect to the disqualification, Madam Chair? Yeah. Um, there are several grounds for disqualification. One of them is failure to include the technical and uh, legal requirements, uh, failure to state the... So that's answer the April 2021 uh, problem of AWIN? It's not one of the disqualification grounds for disqualification. Yeah, so I'm asking you, is that is that an answer? Sa reklamo ng bayan no April 2021. Yes, Madam Chair, it's not one of the disqualifications found in RA 9184. Okay. Is there no internal rule to deduct substantial points in the scoring system for recent accidents such as this one? For example, for any significant accident that took place within three years of the procurement. Madam Chair, the RA 9184 is not a subjective, insofar as goods and infrastructure is concerned, it's not subjective point system. Only the consultancy uh, aspect of the procurement is subject to the point system. And therefore, what we follow in, sorry, what we follow in uh, um, infrastructure and goods procurement is the uh, lowest qualified bidder as read, Madam Chair. Okay, I, I fully understand that, but uh, you could amend, di ba? Pagkaganyan? We cannot um, amend the uh, rules unless the GPPB allows our version of the 1984, but I don't think it will be possible because the law already states how the bidders are supposed to be selected, Madam Chair. Okay, I understand. Kaya siguro nagtatambak ang mga bidding nyo sa DICT kasi hindi talaga pinag-aaralang mabuti. All right. Why did page 9 of the B document mention that the source of funds as trust funds, kanina po, sinabi nyo, ito'y trust funds 2022 instead of the ICT? That is the source of the... Uh, Madam Chair, the finance director is here. He would, she would be able to... Uh, Hi, ma'am. Good afternoon. Galing po ito sa... Ano, sa... Ibang agency. So, tinatabi po yan para doon lang po ma ma ma-allocate, ma ma magamit yung purpose. Pado sa purpose na yon Okay. Paano yun? Kung nagkaroon ng failure of bidding, hindi ba pwede itong ibalik base doon sa sinasabi nating termination for convenience, yung mga ganyan? Hindi pwedeng ibalik kahit trust fund siya. Di ba pwede, pwede naman? Po, pwede po. Oh. Marami na po kami na ibalik. So, yung panawagan ni Congress Mandaza, pwedeng ibalik? Pwede naman po. All right. That's the only, that's the only thing that I wanted to hear from all, you all. Maraming salamat po. Madam Chair, may I do a second round? Yes. If there's no are, other yes. colleagues. Uh, Madam Chair, first of all, can we request from you, Comsec, uh, to have MMDA submit all abstract of bids for previous procurement and contracts for AWIN and or Net Pacific? Could we request that from MMDA, the previous uh, procurement documents, abstract bids, and contracts, and status report uh, for all AWIN and Net Pacific projects, Madam okay. Chair? Yes, Your Honor. So may we request uh, Mr. Lipana to give us a copy of those, he, since he just assumed also, and I believe that he has nothing to do with all of those contracts? Uh, yes, Madam Chair. Thank you so much, Mr. Lipana. And of course, I'd like to direct the Comsec to make a, a review on all the requests of our committee, of our congressman to include the SEC as required by Chairman, by Congressman Richard uh, Gomez and now being asked by, by Congressman Daza. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you for that, Madam Chair. Uh, in the General Appropriations Act, uh, as pointed out to me, thank you so much, Comsec, under Section 78 in the General Provisions, uh, in the modification of allocation or allotments, which I believe this is one of them, uh, the requirement is the head of the agency must submit some reports and get DBM concurrence. May I ask uh, Secretary Kaintik uh, if they got DBM uh, concurrence or consent for the transfer of funds to MMDA? Uh, as far as I can remember, Madam Chair, I think we 
uh, coordinated with TBM po, sir. No, the question is, did you get written consent as required by Section 78 of the GAA? I, 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 will, I will have to refresh my memory on that. Uh, could the current DICT officials respond to that? Uh, I would have to call on the former admin, uh, Director uh, Bogs Bungato. I'd like to thank you, uh, Madam Chair, uh, uh, Congressman Daza. Sir, uh, as far as I can concern, uh, as I can recall, uh, I cannot uh, recall if we have uh, this approval from DBM. From DBM. So okay. we, we will have to check. Uh, okay. For the record, I, there's, there's no, unless you submit documentation that there was no DBM consent or any documentary approvals from DBM for that modification of that allotment. Second, uh, I'd like to ask the ICT, is it correct that the $1.1 billion partly came from uh, the NBP appropriation and part from the uh, free public Wi-Fi? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, six, okay. uh, 600, mi 600 million, uh, Your Honor, came from the National Broadband Plan Fund. And another 500 uh, million came from the free Wi-Fi project. And my understanding is the intent of this of this questionable project is an MBP, a national broadband plan type of project. Is that correct? Because it's fiber optic. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, may I refer to the project manager of NBP? Your name again, sir? Mar um, so, Marlon uh, Biegtan, ma'am. Okay, I'll, I'll rephrase the question. So the intended project, this questionable project, is really because it's infra, it's a national broadband plan type of project. Uh, yes, sir. Honor. Correct? Okay. So is the uh, COA here or DBM because you partly used free public Wi-Fi funds is in that technical malversation? May I ask the COA for, for their opinion? It's put on the record that part of the funds came from the free public Wi Fi, 500 million. Um, Your Honor, may we ask uh, Job Aguirre to, to rise for, for an oath? I don't have You already did? Thank you, right. Thank you so much. Uh, good afternoon, Your Honor. Uh, with regards to that, sir, uh, we could not uh, make a audit conclusion as of now because all of the documentation we required from DBM, uh, from DICT, is not yet submitted to us. Okay, but uh, if uh, your line of questioning, putting aside that documentation, it is uh, malversation, technical malversation. Okay, thank you for that. Um, is the DBM here? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. May we recognize uh, May, Director Quazon? Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Did the DBM issue any consent, any documentation as to this transfer to the MMDA? Because later on, Madam Chair, I'm going to ask a question for all transfers of the DICT, in particular for the MMDA. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, uh, Madam Chair. Based on records po of the Bureau concerned for the ICT, none po. There's no um, authority for the transfer um, issued by the DBM, sir. Uh, thank you. Uh, Madam Chair, uh, in other agencies, if there are similar transfers, my understanding is because of Section 78, where you modify essentially the intended uh, purpose of an appropriation that the head of agency must submit certain documents and get some sort of documentation from DBM. So is that correct, um, Madam Chair? Uh, yes, sir. Pursuant to uh, Section 78 of the General Provisions of the General Appropriations Act, rules on modification in the allotment. So for um, the DBM should um, uh, authorize or approve 
modifications. Uh, number one, from one allotment class to another. Number two is from one operating unit to another. And number three is within a special pur purpose fund. Okay. Thank you. Uh, would the DICT current management, the highest ranking official, I think is USEC uh, uh, Mercado, uh, would you agree with that interpretation, USEC? Uh, that uh, can I uh, again hear from the DBM the the final the what the statement? Uh, DBM, you're now recognized again, uh, sir. It's under Section seventy eight of the General Provisions of the General Appropriations Act. Mm -hmm. That is rules on modification in the allotment. Uh, Your Honor. Um, uh, Your Honor, uh, I think the, the the statement is correct. Uh, it, it pertains to the modification on the allotment. It means that if the fund will not be procured based on the purpose on the line item in the GAA uh, section, it must have uh, an approval by the DBM. Uh, th thank you, Madam Chair. So DICT agrees with that. Does the MMDA, may I ask, I don't want to put you on the spot, sir. Uh, you sec, I, I have the highest regard for you, sir. I, I know of you. I, uh, I know you just came in two weeks ago. You've heard the discussion. You're now the, uh, you're now a you sec. Deputy chairman. You're now the deputy chairman. Deputy chairman. Uh, would, would you agree with this, with my interpretation that that transfer of 1.1 billion is illegal? based on the Section 78, based on the legal opinion of the DICT. So my question, uh, sir, uh, to help this government, you are appointees by the president. You are, you are appointees of no less than the Malacanang president who just sat a few months ago. The reason all the members are here is part of a right of oversight. Frustration with the free public Wi-Fi program and the NBP plan. And we want to do some good. So my question to you, uh, Yusek, having heard the DICT, COA, that there, in their opinion, it could be technical malversation. It did not comply with DBM. May I ask for your opinion, sir? If I may, uh, Madam Chair, uh, Chairman uh, Tianko, and uh, nice uh, music, uh, and Honorable uh, Dasa. Uh, at this point, after hearing all this uh, information, some, many of which are, or most of which are new to me, yes, I think this needs to be reviewed uh, thoroughly. And uh, as far as uh, if we are willing to uh, give back the, the, the funds to the ICT, then it would be uh, better that uh, all the agencies concerned, plus, of course, the recommendation from the uh, committee uh, will be uh, taken all together to come up with a win-win solution for everybody. But uh, let it be understood that we are not objecting to returning the funds, uh, uh, Madam, uh, Madam Chair, Chairman and Honorable Dasa. Uh, th thank you, Chair, Madam Chair, for, the, for that assurance, um, considering also that no less than your former chairman and now Secretary of DILG has requested you the funds. Now, I, I want to wrap up. Uh, I think I, the reason I had asked Chairman uh, Chanko for, for a joint committee because I think for the next two and a half years, we will focus, uh, I will personally put in time in the committee in ICT. Uh, but may I ask SBMA so they can be discharged? Uh, have there been any funds transferred to SBMA? Because I heard they were here. Your SBMA, you're recognized. Please reply to the query of Congressman Dawson. Good afternoon, uh, Honorable Chairman. Uh, wala pong, uh, wala pong and ano po an pong transfer po sa amin but uh, we have a requested po na ma-include po yung preport sa project ng ng uh, DICT 
Okay. Uh, thank you. I, I support that request. Thank you for that. Uh, under the law, my, it's a public, if it's a public property, public area, it should be included. The PITC, may I ask if you've been, if you've, you've been a beneficiary of any transfers from DICT, I won't even ask about other agencies because I know you have many. Uh, could you tell us how much, when, and essentially the status of those funds? And could you provide a report to the committee, uh, Madam Chair, Mr. Chair? Good afternoon, Your Honors. Yes, Your Honor, uh, we have fund transfer in PITC, but those years I was not yet with PITC then, but it's in the report. Uh, I already gave uh, the whole committee a copy of our report. And to disclose, we have there, there have been a fund transfer since 2017 up to 2018, Your Honors, but to date, from 2021 up to this point, there was no fund transfer anymore. And the amount is 3.5 billion. However, we have returned already 1.377 billion, Your Honors, and also provided in the report are the acknowledgement of the fund transfer and also the returns to the Bureau of Treasury during my time. We have also uh, sent you the annexes that it has been received by the Bureau of Treasury, Your Honors. Uh, may, may I request a copy of that, uh, Madam Chair, from the Comstack? We will distribute, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, thank you. May I ask DICT or any other individuals online or here of any transfers from DICT? Um, Your Honor, may I be recognized? Uh, actually, Your Honor, um, upon assuming um, the, the position uh, this August, uh, we discovered uh, several downloads from the previous administration. Uh, included, included here are the, uh, the mentioned MMDA download, which was uh, already, uh, um, uh, we, we got it back from the, from the Baguio uh, local government and it's in, with the Treasury right now. Uh, there was also the UNDP uh, download. Uh, but uh, we, the UNDP download, we are in discussion already with the UNDP on how we can uh, have a more practical approach on those on those download uh, because it's still under a contract, uh, I believe. Um, we had a meeting last October uh, regarding this, and hopefully, we, uh, as a part of the solution, we will uh, reinstitute the committee so that uh, we can decide whether we should rescind the contract and get back the funds or to have a, a, a better amendment to the contract so that uh, all the funds can be um, repurposed properly. Um, aside from that, we have, uh, uh, I, I think uh, there was also a download with uh, the local government of Ifugao, but I think it was already completed. And uh, I think uh, that's it, sir, and PITC also. Uh, could could uh, uh, chair could could the DICT submit a report to the committee, both committees, and to myself, a summary of all those downloads? And I'll, I'll leave it up to you, Chairman Chanko, uh, to take over and those if you have concerns on that. But I just wanted to bring that to light as part of our uh, right of oversight. May I ask the PITC? Uh, are you planning on returning the the funds back? You said you have. One and a half billion left. Is, am I correct? Um, we have returned, sir, uh, Your Honor, the one point three something billion, Your Honor, uh, nine hundred two before I came into PITC and during my time, all the projects that are not moving. I've already talked to the ICT that um, can we do something about it because I don't want the funds staying in PITC as of the moment. And recently, I think yesterday, they ordered. Uh, a memorandum stating that all contracts that will not be completed by December 31 of this year, they have to return the funds. So, uh, you know, uh, I, PITC doesn't have a problem of returning the funds. We are indeed welcoming that idea rather than the money staying in our agency, Your Honors. Uh, thank you for that. Can I get your assurance, uh, ma'am, that in the future, that any transfer of funds to you, because PITC seems to be a favorite, that you will inform the Speaker of the House, DBM, and the uh, Chairman and Committee on Appropriations? 
Yes, Your Honor. We will do that, Your Honor. Thank you very much. Can I get? Can we get the same assurance from DICT? Uh, yes, Your Honor. We will inform uh, all uh, the concerned agencies. Because, uh, as you know, when we appropriate, uh, the intent is for you to spend the money for the intended project. If you divest, download, transfer, whatever terminology you want to use, you're essentially uh, not following the intent of the law, which the General Appropriations Act is. With, the, with our frustration of free public Wi-Fi, I hope you understand why this is so critical, and that's why the MMDA issue will set a precedence on what you will do with these funds. Okay. So to wrap up, Madam, uh, Madam Chair, uh, I appreciate the statement of the uh, new USAC, uh, San Juan. I hope that you will get back to us because uh, I'm not satisfied at this point until there's a definite commitment that the funds will be reverted back either to the Treasury, DBM, or DICT. Uh, I did not complain that the chairman's not here because I was told he's out of town. But should there be no um, resolution on that $1.1 billion, Mr. Mr. Chair, Madam Chair, I will request for another hearing and for the personal presence of the chairman, Mr. Uh, Mr. Chair. Yes, that is well noted, uh, Congressman Dasa. Um, so, okay, Attorney, either uh, Mr. Kaintik or Attorney Trinidad, no? Um, kung hindi matuloy yung bidid out ng MMDA na 1.1 billion na proyekto, ano po ang mawawala sa Metro Manila? What would be, is there any disadvantage? Ano po ang mawawala kung hindi po matuloy yun? Ang... Um... Ang mawawala po is yung pagkakataon na makapaglatag tayo ng at least distribution network at maipagpalaganap yung internet na dadaloy na through the national fiber backbone. Ibig sabihin nyo ba, Pwede. pag nilatag nyo yan, libre ang... Makakatap na ang mga LGUs, oh, schools. Opo, pwedeng magkaroon na lang sila ng arrangement with the ICT to, for any uh, commensurate uh, fees. Kasi... Siyempre, may cost pa rin naman pagbilin ng bandwidth. Maliit lang po talaga yon. So I don't know kung meron na pang napag-isipan ang national broadband na transfer fees. Yung, alam mo yan, meron uh -huh. additional man lang na pang gastos sa iyong, ay pang, pang tustos ng iyong mga administrative cost. Kala ko ba libre yun? Last... Libre yun, sir. Uh, well, depende po, okay, sir. Okay, sa... ng bayad. Uh, ay, di po. Uh, I understand, sir. Uh, libre ang internet. Pero at depende na lang kung magkaroon nga ng transfer fees or whatever. Pero sa pagkakaalam ko, kaya niyang ibigay yon ng libre to all government instrumentalities. Parang yung GovNet ngayon, libre naman eh. Okay. TICT, ano ba yung libre ba yung national broadband or will you charge local government units? Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, technically po, uh, we're going to distribute po yung, ano, yung uh, internet ka content sa... A lot of our beneficiaries, natin. Okay. For free, for for free, po. Uh, yeah, sir, because po, um, this this uh, internet uh, content will be coming from LA. Ito yung uh, mawakwan natin yung two terabits per second, uh, which we're going to use uh, to. Uh, so, basat nagconnecta sa inyo, wala na kayo si singilin doon sa ano. Yes, as far as our ano sir, uh, um, your purpose, uh, our purpose is to ano uh, distribute it for free. And then, ano, pa paano mo uh, determine ang bandwidth ng bawat LGU or Bawat School, how do you determine how to distribute the bandwidth? Okay. Um, on the distribution naman, sir, uh, we're going to ano, uh, uh, give the input, uh, uh, get the inputs uh, from those uh, agencies, how much uh, are they using currently so that we could be able to uh, distribute uh, properly kasi may mga agencies po na would require more uh, capacity and then others uh, are not. So, yun po magiging ano natin, uh, allocation. Okay. How will you sir. prioritize? Well, um, uh, first of all, sir, um, um, the, the, the first, uh, uh, on the prioritization po siguro, no, um, we will, uh, uh, get to know at uh, the, you know, the, uh, the urgency of the request, uh, uh per the agency. Uh, siguro po, uh, yung mga... The urgency of the request or the, 
the readiness. Kasi may mga LGUs yes. na katulad yung, for example, yung Sanawotas, yes. nandun na talaga yung ano nun eh, mm-hmm. yung pipe nun eh. Papasok na lang yung yung uh, uh, yung capacity sir. fiber optics di ba? Yes, Kasi uh, nung may naglatag na telco doon, our condition was that lalatagan nila ng libre yung local government. Alam ni Mr. Kainti kaya eh. That was the reason why I kept following up with him when he was the uh, um, secretary of the ICT because we already had the infrastructure. Yes, sir. Uh, so which will you prioritize the the ones that? Kasi yung may of course, this is admittedly advantageous for yes, us. No? But uh, what I'm saying is, you may infrastructure na, pag nahandyan na, mas mabilis ma-implement yun, di ba? Tama naman po, sir. So, um, kumbaga, there's some uh, meet-up in between. So, uh, tama po yung sabi po ninyo, Mr. Chair. So, if there are available uh, infrastructure uh, from the partner LGUs, then we can uh, easily reach out and then be able to uh, coordinate with uh, with each other para ma- ma- ano natin, ma-distribute natin properly yung capacity and in a more efficient and faster way, sir. Okay. Yeah. And then sa DI, uh, one more, no? Alam naman natin, naintindihan natin, no? If you talk about the uh, internet or free broadband or national broadband, lahat ng congressman dito gusto sabay-sabay magkaroon. Sir. Sir. No? Um, and that's understandable. But do you have a plan to address the needs of those who really need it. Di ba kasi katulad nga dito sa Metro Manila, may options naman, babayad muna, but of course, we want it for free, di ba? On the other hand, there are areas naman na talagang wala. So, uh, uh, ilang ilang months na kayo in office? Um, June, so six months na, di ba? Have you made your national broadband plan already? Um, based hmm. on the budget that you have received from um, the national government? Yes, po, uh, Your Honor. Um, we already um, have some uh, no, plans uh, for Phase 2, for example, sa National Fiber Backbone natin. So, meron na po tayo yung mga, ano, mga identified locations uh, where we're going to deploy based on the uh, current uh, funds that uh, we are actually getting from the national Oh, kasi nung, nung um, check, di ba nung meeting natin, they committed phase one March, tama ba? March and then phase two, third quarter, uh, 2023. Will you be able to, to comply with that? Uh, I, I believe so, sir. I will check. Uh, but uh, we already have the plans. Actually, um, yes, uh, but the, yeah. the, the plans are different, diba? The plans are our plans. Yes, sir. But we have to comply with the plans that you have submitted to Congress, which was the reason why you were granted funds, diba? Yun kasi yung sinasabi namin, eh. Every time you come to Congress and you ask for funds dun sa GAA, we grant you funds based on your commitment to deliver this service. Kaya ang, ang pinaka-importante doon, when you come back again to us, is we will ask you if you are able to deliver that service and that commitment. Okay. Sir, uh, we will uh, submit po, uh, the, our plan for, yes. for the 2020. That's all. Thank you very much. Thank you uh, so much, Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. Chair, I'd just like to check on the finance officer of the ICT. Is he... Yeah, finance. Hi. Can you come over? nag ka na, sir? Okay, okay. What's your name? Chad Moscoso, Madam Chair. Attorney Chad Moscoso. Attorney, um, kasi medyo, siyempre si, si Kong Cho, si Kong Cho, because it's more of the ICT thing and yung mga connections. Mine kasi, mine kasi is more malfeasance, yung mga maling ginawa ng mga empleyado. Gusto ko lang malaman, since hindi ito authorized ng ating DBM, yung sa section 78 ng ating GAA, magbibigyan mo ba kami ng kopya yung mga disbursement na ginawa ng, ng, ng accounting ninyo? Yes, Madam Chair. We can supply you with the disbursement documents. Oo, kasi I need to know who signed all of those documents para malaman ko kasi alam nyo, whether or not the MMDA or the ICT officials commis- committed malfeasance or misfeasance and nonfeasance the performance of the duties, yun kasi ang trabaho ko. So, kailangan kong makita kung meron bang nagkamali sa... Actually, may lumabag na eh. Kasi umamin na si... <laughs> Si DBM, ma'am, na sa, 19, sa rules of Section 78 ay hindi kayo inauthorized na 
mag-transact. So, I need to have a copy of that para magkaroon kami ng comprehensive committee report after the second or third hearing. Will you do that, sir? Yes, Madam Chair. We And I'd like will... to congratulate the DICT family for dahil lang yung secretary ay na-confirm na. Thank you, Pa. Ayun, medyo maganda yon. Magaling yung inyong secretary, so siguro naman ngayon ay hindi na kayo magkakaroon ng problema. I hope so. You think so? Uh, we hope so too, Madam Chair. <laughs> well, I guess. We will do our best. All right. So get on niya. Make sure that you have to you give me a copy of that kasi pag hindi, ipapakontem kita. We will right? submit. Thank yes. you so much. Thank you for, your, for a very beautiful smile. <laughs> Chairman uh, of, of our ethics, uh, Congressman Telemon Espaces is now... Espares. Sorry, sir. Uh, <laughs> ngayon lang kita nakita at nabasa yung kapilito eh. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you Kong, very much, uh, Madam nice. Chair. Wala na, ay, and then also our uh, uh, Mr. Chair no, of, the, uh, the, of the information and the uh, technology. Uh, actually, that is related, Madam Chair, on your previous question uh, because upon hearing and upon confirmation, there is really a technical mobilization. So, dapat may managot dito. And good that you have asked sino yung nagperma. And uh, malaman talaga natin at saka uh, dapat managot, di ba? Um, Is the ano, resource person uh, from the accounting, do you know who is the person who signed? Um, the, the transfer, the approval. Madam Chair, uh, we will confirm. We will, we, we will have to look at the documents, the disbursement documents, the obligation documents to see who the signatories were and who actually signed, uh, Your Honor. Okay, so thank you with that. And then... Uh, dapat lang madam chair no na maano din no mabigyan din ng uh, karampatang uh, uh, discipline or uh, sanctions no ang involved dito uh, not just a mere uh, returning of the fund probably okay so uh, that's all on that but then madam chair i would like to uh, ask again the DICT on this project uh, because uh, Uh, I think we have a lot of infrastructures uh, being laid, uh, installed, no? especially the fiber optic. I know LGUs uh, and I heard uh, MMDA, they have also there, and a lot of uh, um, telcos no? who have also existing uh, um, uh, hard, uh, what you call that, fiber lines, no? usually pa yan underground. So, baka sobrang dami na rin. And then, I know this is uh, internet and uh, we can have the overlaying or we can have only the highway. And we can utilize even one fiber no, of uh, uh, different, uh, I, I, I think, the, the capacity of the bandwidth. Now, uh, have is the, no, the, uh, the ICT experience or so have tried to list for a highway from existing telcos no to really to maximize the existing in uh, fiber optic uh, being laid down para hindi na sana gumastos yung gobyerno on this and the same time uh, alam naman natin na if it is really owned by the government uh, we have a lot of things to do especially the management the the maintenance no which you have mentioned ipa ipakontrak pa natin yon no how about if you're going to utilize the existing uh, telcos kung walang uh, government doon but then of course the the uh, the inline or ang tawag doon yung nasa distribution yun na lang siguro ang idagdag natin no kung saan natin gusto ilagay rather than kasi mura lang ang maglis out the highway using the existing fiber rather than uh, maintaining and installing on it So baka maliit lang na amount ang magastos natin, ang efficiency, tulong-tulong pa because the existing telcos, this should maintain that and it's part of the, the leasing contract. So, Madam Chair, I don't know, I uh, would like to ask, mayroon na ba talaga tayo na experience before? At kung na-fail yun, dahil nag-decide tayo for the new construction, what's the reason for that failure? 
um, Madam Chair, um, uh, Mr. Chair, and your honors. Um, actually, for for the national uh, for the DICT, no. Um, part of our uh, solution uh, to deploy the fiber optic uh, cable and to distribute the capacities to ano, uh, look on to the uh, sa sabi ni new sir na may existing infrastructure from the private companies uh, let, let's say for example um sa domestic submarine cable uh, this is what we are looking at right now we're in uh, deploying uh, our own uh, submarines very costly so um pag uh, nag ano tayo nag procure tayo through let's say for an IRU it will be more uh, economical for the government uh, to utilize the uh, fiber core since uh, sila is hindi naman sila naglalatag ng exacto lang may sobra sobra pa sila sir yes sir uh, so with that uh, we're taking that uh, uh, infrastructure in place already so we will uh, it's part of our uh, procurement plans so that we could be able to national broadband program efficiently and at the same time sir yung tama po yung sinabi ninyo um on the distribution side naman uh, we are we're seriously looking on the uh, provincial at uh, mga regional rings uh, so that which are already in place actually so part of our solutions po yan sir thank you pa but then uh, madam chair uh, wala pa kayong experience so far from the previous hindi na try um not that i know of, sir so meaning baka yun ang mas efficient rather than uh, taking time to install Kasi ilang months pa yun or year to really to finish the construction at it's very costly than the uh, making contracts with the existing. So that's my idea and then might be part of my manifestation na i, i, ano, no, I try ng government kasi uh, marami talagang kayo magamit na end uh, line, you know, na yung mile, ano yun, tawag yun, yung, uh, yung nasa distribution, no? Uh, yung eh, last mile. Eh. Kasi may mga cable operators, pwede nyo rin magamit kasi they have their own fiber, no? Kung wala talagang telcos. Okay, so I think uh, in the Philippines right now, especially in Metro Manila, we have a lot this, oh, uh, we have this enough uh, infrastructure right now existing. So thank you, Madam Chair. Um, now we'd like to acknowledge, of course, the arrival of our member, of our dearest friend, of course, our chairman from Public Accountability from Public accountability and accounts, um, Chairman Romeo Akop. And I'd like to call on Kong Sani Lagon, who's on Zoom. Kong, Lag Kong Sani. Congressman Sani. All right, so we'd like to call on, no more? Okay, one more? Okay. Kong Sani Lagon, you're now recognized. Hi, hello. Uh, uh, Madam Chair, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, may, mayroon lang po akong question about uh, the ICT. Madam Chair, can you hear me? Yes, yes, you are. <laughs> uh, sorry. Um, Congressman Puldasa mentioned in his uh, speech that the ICT uh, downloaded 3 to 4 billion uh, mainly to MMDA without the consent of Congress. My, my question is, can we ask the ICT why Congress was not uh, informed? Who would like to answer from on behalf of the ICT? Uh, your, uh, uh, Paul Mercado. Uh, your Honor, uh, I think uh, the, the question should be addressed to the previous uh, administration since the wisdom on the... Contract. I agree with that, uh, Yusek Paul. Okay, uh, Mr. Kaintik. Mr. Kaintik, you're not anywhere connected into government. Uh, so you're a private citizen now? Yes, Paman. Naku, ang dami mong problema. Okay, you may answer. Uh, Madam Chair, uh, as I was advised by my legal office, I think it, uh, by my, uh, as I was advised before, uh, it, hindi naman kailangan uh, mag- seek ng approval for the transfers from Congress because it's already part of the RA-10929, the free Wi-Fi law, na pwedeng makipag-coordinate sa mga ibang national government agencies po. Okay. Um, we were just uh, checking on the RA that you said. Uh, Congressman Sani, would you like to add more some questions? He said that... Yeah already part of the RA-129, so hindi na dapat, ipaalam sa Kongreso. Congressman Sani? 
Okay, we'll just uh, wait for their answer, uh, Madam Chair. Oh, the answer is uh, no need to tell. Oh, is that uh, is that a uh, valid? Um, is that a valid answer? But if I may, Madam Chair, uh, 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 to my colleague, uh, it came out in the hearing earlier that at a minimum, the DICT should get a written consent uh, from DBM, which apparently they did not get. Uh, and despite uh, an adverse legal opinion, so so that's one one, one of the outputs possi possibly, uh, Lago, um, Madam Chair. Uh, in the next budget cycle, we need to put more specific provisions on interagency transfers. Yes, I agree. As I've read in our JA right now, it is more specified. So we therefore uh, agree with the suggestion of uh, Congressman Paul Daza to come up with another provisions by next time when we do the budget call. All right. We'd like to call on... Okay. Um, can DBM answer? I'd like to ask a question also for DBM before we... I think we're going to wrap up. Um, if ever, ma'am, um, itong oversight ba ay tinatanggap din po ba ito? Kung sakali... Is this is is there a policy na yung para lang mabigyan natin ng sagot yung kay Kong Sani? May policy ba or may oversight na maglagay ng oversight or may oversight pa kayo na ini-inform ang Kongreso o depende ito sa provisions na mangyayari per year? On your end. Um, uh, Madam Chair, um, may mga bills po tayo at may mga laws po na nakalagay na may Congressional Oversight Committee. So, if that's the case po, um, ang DBM naman po, nag abide po doon sa ano. So, uh, in, ina -ano po namin, ina abide po namin kung ano po ang uh, stated in the um, act. Okay, but it's in the GAA. Section 104. Okay. So, regardless on whatever is a, is a law, Nasa GAA, it's actually Section 104, Joint Congressional Oversight Committee on Public Expenditures, the Senate and the House of Representatives Congressional Oversight Committee on Public Expenditures, which shall primarily monitor and compliance with the agencies with requirements or condition the utilization of public funds under this act and pertinent laws. Uh, so, dapat, no? So, tama si Kong Sani doon. All right, sige. We'll work. Thank you, Madam Chair. Yes, thank you, Kong Sani. Thank you. All right. So, anybody from the from our colleagues? So, before we wrap up, uh, Chair. Yes. Madam Chair. Uh, just to put on the record, Madam Chair, I had the uh, committee in ICT Comsec show a copy, my copy of the memorandum of agreement to uh, Secretary Kaintik, and uh, uh, just to verify and validate that it is his signature in this MOA dated. April 28, 2022. Is that correct, uh, Secretary? Uh, yes, po, Madam Chair, okay. Congressman does. Okay, thank you. And then uh, I have copies, uh, enlarged copies of two separate checks dated the same day, April 28, 2022, the day the MOA was signed for 500 million pesos and 600 million uh, signed by. Secretary Kaintek, is that correct? Both checks? Uh, from my ocular inspection, it would seem so, Madam Chair. Do, do you recall signing those checks? Uh, I, as I could recall it, po, sir. Thank you. And also, let me put on the record, Nestor Bongato uh, were the signatories uh, in those uh, checks. Okay. Uh, that's all uh, for me, Chair, Madam Chair. Yes, any other members who wish to make uh, questions, clarifications? Mr. Chair. Yes. Chair. Yes, so, Madam Chair. Uh, yes, Congressman Abante. Uh, the, chair, the chairperson of the Committee on Public Accountability and Good Government made mention of the GAA rule, no? 
So, ibig sabihin, you would like to correct the assumption of uh, Secretary Kaintik. We'd like to correct your assumption that uh, you do not need to inform Congress about that because it is in the Republic Act, as you have said, di ba? May RRR yan, Republic Act na yan eh. Pangalawa, you've got to remember we have the Oversight Committee here and uh, the Oversight Committee tells us that every disbursement approved by Congress, Congress must be informed about it. Secretary Kaintik. And But you said a moment ago, it should not be, di ba? I, I note that po, uh, Congressman po. No, no, you, you, you don't, or didn't note. You have to agree with us because we approved the budget. So yeah, we're correct. <laughs> Buti na lang pala, ano ngayon, malakas ang wifi. Nakita namin kaagad-agad. <laughs> Kung hindi, kawawa naman kami dito. Oh. All right, so we will call on Congressman Akop uh, for another uh, interpolation. Uh, 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 oh, you, you, I just would like to ask, uh, you should agree with us because we have the Oversight Committee and we have the right to be informed. Madam Chair, as far as I know, when the project was concepted and crafted, the MOA, the same purposes were done. Yung kalahati po is on the fiberization. Yung kalahati po is to create the Wi-Fi sites. So as far as I was, I could recall when we initiated the MMDA project, parehas po ang purpose eh gumawa ng fiber at maggumawa ng wifi so i did not and uh, i i was i i was under the impression that walang modification of allotment because there's actually two projects fused into one to complement each other po madam chair madam mr chair nandoon na tayo ang inaano ko yung kaninang answer mo that hindi na kinakailang i-inform ang Kongreso tungkol dito. Uh, Madam Chair, uh, kasi nga po, Congressman, Madam Chair, uh, hindi ko siya naisip ipa-inform sa oversight kasi parehas, uh, it, 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 uh, it uh, fulfills the same uh, uh, tawag dito, uh, objectives po. And I was con we were consistent naman po, sir, with the the uh, GAA allotment po. Well, anyway, oh, uh, Madam Chair, I just would like to ask uh, Koa to uh, tell us, no, uh, the uh, kung ano to, di ba? I mean, binabagi kanina, meron technical malversation, eh. And only Koa could be, make a decision on that, di ba? I mean, uh, ano gagawin niyo tungkol dito? Have you ever heard the whole thing? So what are you going to do about this? Uh, with all due respect, sir, uh, uh, we will wait for the documents that we required from DICT. We issued the uh, audit query memorandum. So we give them 15 days. So we will study it carefully. And we will wait on the explanation of uh, Secretary Kainting with the documents before we could uh, finally come up with a final audit conclusion on, on the matter, sir. 15 days is starting today? Yeah. And then we, we, we issued the AQM audit query memorandum on December 1, they receive it. So, they the have a lot of uh, documentation we need to study because the attachment to the voucher was only the MOA and the project proposal, very general. So, in detail, sir, talagang wala. So, we need to study it carefully. Malapit After 15 you, days. Uh, malapit in 15 days. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you so much, uh, Congressman um, Abante. Congressman Mon? Yeah. Thank you, Madam Chair. Sa taga MMDA, um, I have read here sa uh, privilege sa speech ng ating SDML DASA. Uh, this is about the procurement of the laptop. Um, can you confirm from the MMDA na yung dalawang laptops na na-procure natin uh, costed around 181,000 or 90,500 each. 
Kasi dito, Madam, share sa uh, privilege speech last time. Can I get uh, uh, confirmation, affirmation coming from the MMDA? Madam, sir. May answer. Yes, you may. Madam, sir, I have with me um, purchase request dated September 8, 2022 uh, for one branded laptop um, purchase for two units, actually. A one unit cost is 90,987 pesos and the total cost is 181,974. And this was requested by Attorney William Morventura Plan, the Chief of Staff, and approved by um, the Acting Chairman, Engineer Carlo de Mayuga III. Okay, so meaning that is around 90,500 uh, Ano bang klaseng specs ang nandito? Bakit nagko-cost ng ganito? If I may quote, Madam Chair, at least 13.6 inches display, memory at least 8 gigabytes unified memory configurable, storage of 256 gigabyte SSD, and at least 2 terabytes maximum configura configurable storage. Up to at least 18 hours battery life, Camera at least one 1080 HD camera, four speaker sound system, weight maximum of 1.24 kilograms, with touch ID features, Wi-Fi, with warranty and carry back. Delivery period 15 days. Okay, so may may specs then, but then I think uh, kung paano natin to may explain sa ating mga taxpayers. But then there is another item here, the one unit tablet. Procured at 121,000 yung price. Isang unit lang na tablet. Yes, uh, What kind of tablet ulit ito? Bakit uh, tayo naman, uh, regular na nagpro-procure or bumibili nito? Uh, sana mas mura ito <laughs> kisa <laughs> sa laptop. Yes, Mr. Chair. Based on the purchase request dated September 27, 2022, uh, the price for one tablet is 126500 If I may read the uh, description, at least fifth generation tablet, at least 12.9 inch diagonal, at least 682 grams, I'm sorry, 682G Wi Fi, 682G 5G, 6.4 millimeter thickness, wide at least 12 MP. F slash 1.8 aperture, at least 2x optical zoom out, digital zoom up to 5x, at least four speaker audio, Wi-Fi plus cellular connectivity, keyboard compatible with branded tablet with multi-touch gesture and cursor, includes charging cable power adapter with warranty. It was requested by Attorney Villamore Ventura Plan, Chief of Staff, and approved by Engineer Carlo Di Mayuga, Acting Chairman. Madam Chair, ito ba talaga ang price ng sa market this time? Ang MMDA? The 121,000 per uh, unit. no? So, sana ma-explain natin ito with our uh, taxpayers na bakit ganito yung mag-procure yung ating uh, government. So yun lang Madam Chair napuno natin napuno natin to from the the information coming from that uh, privileged speech of our STML. So I don't know with the uh, with the kuwa uh, might be later on uh, kung anong uh, comment at recommendation on this uh, procurement also from the MMT office Madam Chair Okay, thank you so much. Okay, now, thank you so much, Kong Mon. So we'd like to call on Congressman Ako. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, may I ask the ICT, what is its primordial jurisdiction or duty? Who would like to answer? I think um, you said um, Paul. It's a 
let let me uh, find it, but it's based on uh, the the ICT law. The the yeah, yes, sir. Uh, uh, the the ICT law states that under RA ten eight four four, the DICT shall be the primary primary policy, uh, planning, coordinating, implementing, and administrative entity that will plan, develop, and promote the national ICT development agenda. Thank you. And because of your function, you were allowed a twelve billion. Tama po. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, when po? Uh, sorry. Uh, 2022. twenty 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 two. 2021. 12, 12 billion. Yung subject matter ng, mm. ng privilege speech of the Honorable Data. Uh, for, uh, if it's uh, 2022, yes, uh, it's uh, around that much, 12 billion. 12 billion. Yes, yes, Your Honor. And what was the purpose of the? Uh, the 12 billion, uh, I believe, Your Honor, um, although I'm not still part of that uh, the ICT during that time but it I, I think it's uh, uh, divided into different segments uh, some are for free Wi-Fi some are for the NBP project uh, some are for the upscaling and the other divisions of the DICT and what would be your legal basis why you have downloaded a certain amount of the 12 billion to metropolitan Manila Development Authority and several local government units, as stated in the uh, privileged speech of the Honorable uh, Data. Uh, Your Honor, I think uh, I'm not the person to answer this uh, again. As to the wisdom of the previous download, uh, it, it is the prerogative or the management discretion of the previous uh, administration. So I, I think I'm not the proper person to to answer the discussion. Congressman Akop, maybe ask uh, Mr. Kainti to answer your question. Madam Chair, uh, the reasoning for partnerships with BCDA... Uh, no, no. Uh, LGUs, with your indulgence, uh, Madam Mr. Secretary. Uh, my question is, what was the legal basis why you downloaded certain amounts of the 12 billion to MMD in several local units. That's precisely my question. What was your legal basis, if ever there was? Uh, may, may I just consult my counsel? Madam Chair, uh, the free Wi-Fi law uh, allows uh, for DICT to coordinate with national government agencies and LGUs for the implementation of the free Wi-Fi law. Are you trying to tell this honorable body that the term coordination would include the transfer of funds from your agency to another agency? Are you trying to tell this body that 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 the term to coordinate involves or you know it's under it's uh, shall we say uh, meaning that you can transfer funds from one agency to another is that what you're trying to tell this body um madam chair uh prior to the mmda transfer there were already precedents that happened uh, the Pangasinan uh, transfer of what's with also with an LGU, Ifugao uh, province was also uh, an LGU. And even before that, po, nag the download po kami sa, sa PITC dati nga for implementation of free Wi Fi uh, para for the expediency of uh, procurement and possible implementation, po, sir. What is the criteria of then uh, the DICT uh, department in in the downloading of these funds? Because uh, precisely the twelve billion cannot cannot provide for all the uh, Wi-Fi needs of the whole country. What was your criteria, uh, Madam Chair? Uh, yung 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 buong programa po over the past five years, we had to uh, plan it according to urgency of need. So, for example, 
um, may calamity po, uh, like last year's Odette. So we had to, we had to find ways and means para makapag, uh, subscribe kami ng mga services for immediate response. So dun sa downloads naman po, meron pong mga nag-intimate sa amin prior to this year, no? May mga LGUs po na nag-intimate sa amin for help in their Wi-Fi and nasabi nila they can help they can help the ICT in the implementation. So ang way na lang was para ma- ma-unburden din ng aming procurement kasi di ba dat- dadaloy sa procurement division pa namin is to download and then sila na po ang mag-procure and mag-implement with our supervis- uh, supervision po. So meron po mga precedents prior to MMDA. Uh, but did you ever know that there are certain rules na hindi dapat i-allow ito? Um, as far as I could recall, sir, uh, I was advised naman that it was uh, okay po. And may I know who advised you that it's okay? Um, during the MMDA transfer po, it was uh, ASIC Big Trinidad who, uh, who is here right now po. As far as the MMDA is concerned po. Yung inyo pong pag-download sa MMDA lang, siya po ang nag-advise sa inyo. Uh, uh, it's, and yes po, sir. It's all in accordance with law, rules, and regulations? Uh, sa pagkakaalam ko po, sir. Hindi. Tinatanong ko kung siya ang nagbigay ng advice po sa inyo. Uh, I sought his advice po, sir. And is he the legal officer of the ICT then? Uh, hindi po, sir. Hindi po ba normal na procedure that when there is an issue which you cannot decide on, especially if the issue is legal, you consult your legal department? Uh, yes po, sir. Bakit po siya ang inyong kinonsulta? Hindi yung kumuha ka ng official stand ng iyong legal department? Um, based on my understanding sir and my and, and my evaluation the legal uh, the when i asked mmda for their legal opinion on the uh, adverse uh, opinion of uh, my legal it seems sound and i also asked the doj for their opinion pero hindi na po namin na uh, tanggap wala naman po kami na tanggap na objection po were all these documented I believe so, sir. And may I ask that you furnish a copy of all these documents that you have stated uh, to the uh, two committees uh, hearing this issue right now? Yes, but, sir. Yes. And may I know when you can submit that? Um, may, may I be given at least a week, sir, so I could furnish it properly, sir? Yes, Madam Chair, well, would that be acceptable to the Chair? Today is well, uh, Tuesday. Uh, we have no work on Thursday. Is it possible for on Friday? Because we have a hearing on the 13th. Madam, 14th, Chair, sorry, 14th. Madam Chair, kasi wala na po ako sa department and some of the uh, documents I might have to coordinate also with the department. Po. Okay, may we ask the, administrative, the DICT administrative service if you could do that as being asked by the Honorable ACOP? Uh, yes, ma'am. We will provide uh, the requested document. How soon? Uh, uh, Your Honor, uh, may I qualify the answer? We will check first if there is a document. Because um, um, let, let's uh, we will check first if there is a document, and uh, if we found that if, if we find the document, then we will furnish the this uh, honorable body. If we can't find, we'll write a letter stating that uh, it's not. A certification, Any certification, a certification be, yeah. uh, on our end. Uh, because, uh, the DOJ was stated there, uh, so and he believes that there there yes. is a document. Yeah. Yes, your yes, your honor. So um, if you just have, qualify, just uh, to qualify that. You just have to give us. There's nothing wrong with that. Yes, your honor. Uh-uh. 
Ma, ma, yeah. take, Madam take. Chair, uh, yun sana isusunod kong tatanungin si Mr. Kwan eh. Kung gato. Uh, <laughs> kasi parang sigurado kang meron kopya. Hindi po kami. So, let me make it clear. Kayo po ay nikapag-communicate sa legal department ng MMDA. You also communicated with the Department of Justice. And uh, did I hear you right? You also asked the opinion of your legal department, the ICT? Uh, ganito po ang... Uh, no, no. Uh, yes po, you, sir. Uh, please answer my question. Uh, uh, my question is answerable by yes or no. Yes po, sir, but the order of events po, sir, was different. The, we received a, 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 an opinion from our legal through... Ang, ang sinulatan po ng legal department namin, yung bureau head, uh, uh, stating his observations on the, on the agreement and the project. So, sabi ko kay Asikvik na... Can you ask MMDA to help respond to this? Because some of the questions are, are pertaining to whether or not MMDA does have the technical capability and charter and in accordance to their charter. So, sumagot sila po. So, based on that, sabi ko, ah, mukha naman. Sumagot po? Sumagot po ang MMDA. Ang MMDA. So, and you yes. have a copy of that answer? Yes po, sir. Yes. Uh, please also provide these uh, two uh -huh. committees a copy of that. Yes, answer. sir. So, nagsulat pa ako sa MMDA. Sumagot si MMDA. Tapos, then nagproceed na po kami. Pero at the same time po, nagsulat po ako sa DOJ asking lang for clearance. I mean, and their opinion about it. Pero patapos na po kasing administration nun, mukhang hindi na po na sagotan ni Juan. Pero wala po kaming natanggap na objection po. Ah, uh, I do not know the reason why you have to ask the legal department of the MMDA. Kasi kayo po ang nagdi-decide eh. But I want to know uh, whether uh, when you requested for a legal opinion from the Department of Justice, was your, was your query answered by the Department of Justice? Uh, wala po kami natanggap na objection, sir. Wala kayong natanggap na sagot. Uh, any, any answer po. You did not receive any answer. Let's be clear on that. And your legal department did not give you any advice. Read this matter. Uh, your Honor, I think uh, earlier there was a legal opinion from the legal department as uh, written, as uh, addressed by uh, Attorney Navarro. It's an adverse uh, opinion, Your Honor. Madam Chair. What? Uh, Madam Chair, can I continue? Yes, you may. Yes, sir. Uh, there was an opinion by the legal department of the ICT regarding this matter. Yes, Your Honor. And may I know, when was that given? Uh, Your Honor, can I refer you to the... To the uh, to the uh, attorney. Please ask uh, the chair. Uh, uh, Madam Chair, Our rules can we so. be recognized? Yes, uh, Attorney yes. Navarro. Attorney Navarro, you are now again recognized. Thank you, Madam, Madam Chair, Mr. Chair, Your Honor. Uh, the first legal opinion, uh, Madam Chair, Mr. Chair, Your Honor, was dated March 28, 2022. Uh, Madam Chair, may I know, may I know the time when 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 the the amount uh, was downloaded to the MMDA, I say, uh, we want to know whether there was already an adverse legal opinion from the legal department of the ICT before it was downloaded. Uh, uh, for the record, uh, with your indulgence, Congressman Ako, it was established earlier. Uh, the MOA and the checks were dated April 28, 2022, uh, roughly about a month after the adverse legal opinion. So, in effect, uh, wala na yung uh, Mr. Kaintik. In other words, uh, were you able to read the uh, adverse uh, opinion of your legal department then? 
which was spent in March 2022. Were you aware of this? Yes, but, uh, and, Madam. And in spite of the adverse uh, opinion of your legal department, you proceeded with the downloading of the funds to MMDA and the other LGUs? Madam Chair, uh, uh, tinatanong ko po kayo. Yes, po. Uh, yes? Is your answer yes? So in other words, you did not believe the, the opinion of your legal department? Tama po ba, Attorney Navarro? Uh, yeah, uh, yes. Tinatanong kita, tama ba yun? Na, you know already that they downloaded the funds, but in spite of your adverse legal opinion, they proceeded with downloading of the funds. It seems to be so. Madam. It seems to be so, okay. So, uh, why, is, why was there a need for you to ask your legal department to write the Department of Justice for Legal Opinion? Um, Kasi hindi rin po kayo naniniwala. Sir, and is there a pressure coming from others? I, sir, um, ako po ang nagsulat mismo sa uh, kay Secretary Guevara po nun, sir, POJ. Uh, the letter was from my office po directly, sir. Yeah, that's why I was asking the question. You did not believe the adverse opinion or the, the opinion for your own legal department? The adverse opinion po, Madam Chair, uh, was pertaining mostly on the capability of MMDA on their charter and everything. That's why I asked MMDA, can you validate the, liga the, the validity of these findings? Po? So you were, you were not asking for the legal opinion of MMDA regarding the transfer of funds. You were asking whether the opinion of your legal department is true or not. Papa, sir. Yun po ang okay. and in spite also of the uh, the legal opinion of the MMDA, you wrote the, the Department of Justice for their legal opinion. Uh, April twenty five po. Yes. Uh, yes po. April twenty five. Request for legal opinion. Yes, and having received no answer, you proceeded with the uh, you proceeded with the uh, uh, transfer of funds. Yes, po, sir. Yes. And who were the who were the people who directly authorized all these things? Uh, what do you mean, sir? Sino sino po ang gumawa po ng pagtransfer? Um, Kasi if we are if we are going to charge anybody, lahat po nandi na anan nun eh, hindi ba sa sabit po? Uh, I believe so, sir. Yes, and you are aware of that. May we request uh, the Honorable Attorney of uh, Mr. Kainti, did you, nag-oat ba siya? Can you take a, si, uh, mag-oat ka na rin kasi nagsasalita ka na rin sa likod ni Mr. Kainti. Eh. Would you like to take an oath? Uh, 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 Madam Chair, I believe, uh, I believe there is no anomaly because we followed naman the COA rules on the proper disperse, uh, proper transfer po, sir. No, uh, the DBM uh, said so. No, Madam Chair, Section Seven. Hindi naman po yun ang tinatanong ko. Oh, nah. Wala naman po dun eh. You know, uh, Sir Kentik, matagal po ako investigator eh. Doon pa lang sa kilos-kilos mo eh. At the back of my head, merong hindi tamang nangyari. Po ang aking po. Sa pagtatanong ko po sa inyo. Kasi uh, kayo po ang sumulat, sabi niyo sa opinion ni, eh. then uh, I could conclude na alam niyo po itong lahat na nangyari sa transaction na ito. And therefore, you should be able to parry all the questions thrown at you. Yun po ang wag po eh. Madam Chair, pasensya na po. Uh, hindi po kasi ako abogado, so I'm a... I'm a so that's I, why I have to ask my lawyer. Uh, I'm not familiar with legal... Uh, ano po, kasi proceedings po. Doesn't need to be a lawyer to be able to answer the questions that I have propounded. Di po ba? Kung alam nyo talaga yung transaction na nangyari, lahat po ng aspeto, uh, pasensya na po, your honor. You would have been able to answer all the questions that I have asked. 
Madam Chair, uh, Your Honor, uh, it has been months na po kasi since I uh, stepped down and wala na po sa aking memory yung mga transactions na bring to light lang po to lately ulit po. In other words, uh, uh, Mr. Kaintik, you take full responsibility for everything that happened, whether it's right or wrong. Um, upon the advice of my uh, people before, po, uh, I, I, I worked on the advice and, uh, and good work of the people below me po at that time, sir. No. Uh, do you take full responsibility for whatever happened, whether it was right or it was wrong? Uh, as far as I, as far as I could reckon, sir, there's nothing wrong with. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, hindi ko naman sinasabi na meron ng maling nangyari. Eh. Ang tinatanong ko po, as the secretary before. And as the leader of the agency, ah, yes, yes, we should take full responsibility. Ah, yes, I take full responsibility. Thank you for the answer. Madam yes. Chair, that would be all. Marami pong salamat sa opportunity. Thank you so much. Would do you still have to add more? Okay. So, again, um, we would like to apprise all of the members here of our, of our committee and at the same time our resource speakers that the issues here are the whether the interagency transfers in this case between DICT, MMDA, and other LGs valid and legal. Number two, whether or not the subject contracts by MMDA and DICT are entered without violating the law, rules, and regulations. Whether or not MMDA and DICT officials committed malfeasance, misfeasance, and nonfeasance in the performance of their duties. And number four, whether or not MMDA officials involved may be held liable for malfeasance, misfeasance, and nonfeasance, allowing overpricing and questionable bidding of projects. So ito po yung babalikan natin sa December 13 for more queries and uh, interpolations coming from the end of uh, the Honorable Congressman in this House. And of course, Congressman uh, Paul, would you like but, to, to make but, uh, your last statement? Yeah, my last manifestation, Madam Chair. I think uh, no less than the MMDA chairman should be present in the next hearing, who also, for the record, was the signatory with uh, Secretary Manika Intik of the memorandum agreement. Uh, we, we allowed him not to be here because I heard he was out of town, but in the next, there's sufficient time, and uh, we want to make sure he's here personally, Madam. Your Honor, we already we got the letter coming from MMDA that they are in a in a official mention mission in Japan. So they will be back on the eighth. So I'm pretty sure that they're going to be come back. They'll be here on on the thirteenth. Uh, GM uh, Lipana, would you allow them to come over? Of course, uh, Madam Chair. <laughs> Thank you so much, GM Lipana, and to to all of those who have attended us to attended this meeting. Maraming maraming salamat po. At sana po, uh, balikan niyo po kami on December 13th. Um, only few will be called kasi yung iba po ay narinig na. So asahan niyo po na dinadraft na rin po yung ating mga nalaman ngayong araw na ito natuklasan. Just a, just a friendly reminder to all. Ang baging, ang maupo po sa gobyerno, maglingkot sa gobyerno ay napakahirap. Siguro po dapat lang ilagay po natin yung ating sarili Sa tama, at higit sa lahat, gamitin ang tama. At higit sa lahat, huwag magpagamit kung sino man ang nag-uutos sa inyo. Okay? So again, to all of you, I'd like to um, to call, ask for a favorite motion. Madam Chair, since uh, there are no more issues to be resolved, may I move for the adjournment of this uh, meeting, this hearing? Oh, no. Suspension I lang may, may move for the suspension of this hearing. A second, Madam Chair. <laughs> Thank you so much, Congressman uh, Paul Daza and Congressman Akop. Um, 
There being no other matter for consideration, the Committee of Good Government and Public Accountability, the meeting is now suspended. We will be resuming on December 13 at 1 p.m. in Dece at the Venetia Hall. Or, or Nograles Hall. Nograles Hall na po tayo. Maraming salamat po and God bless us all. Thank you so much. Meeting is, uh, meeting is suspended. Yes, on the part of the ICT committee, meeting is suspended. Thank you. Oh, okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank 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 you. Th